Jumpscare. Vampires are hugely featured in literature, movies, them, even music for all that matters. But there aren't that many vampire games, and of the few that there are, not all of them are great but there are a couple of exceptions. And since there is a new vampire game on the horizon called Vampire? Vampire? Whatever you want to pronounce it, there's a new one coming out. And so I wanted to look at what are the really good vampire games out there. So this is my list. These are five games about vampires. The thing that you should check out if you like the genre, if you like the creature, and if you like games. At number 5 is Dracula Origins. This is a point-and-click adventure game that is definitely underrated. It is pretty much an unofficial sequel to Bram Stoker's Dracula book. And boy oh boy, playing as Van Helsing as it goes around the globe trying to find out what is the origin of Dracula, where have some of the main characters of the book gone through the years, and where is Dracula? Those are very interesting questions, and the game features some great set pieces, great locations that you visit, some very hard as nails puzzles to complete, and a very satisfying finale. And they also got a sequel to this one that was a hidden object game where you played as Dracula. It wasn't all that bad, so I think you should check it out as well if you like this game. But as far as point and click adventure games go, this one was pretty original in terms of setting and story, anything that you should check out if you like the genre. It's definitely one of my personal favorite adventure games. At number four is, as always, because I always have to cheat, but. It's a cheat, it's the entire Legacy of Cain franchise. And there are many, you could take Soul River, you can take Blood Omen, yeah, honestly they are all very different from one another, some older, some newer, but everyone has their favorite. My personal favorite is Legacy of Cain Defiance, the last one in the franchise, if you exclude uh, Nos Goth or whatever. You could play as both main characters of the franchise, it was a very fun action adventure game and the other ones are just as great, so it's a franchise that's hugely underrated, we're probably never going to get a sequel or at least not in the near future, but I think that you should check it out for yourselves, especially to make up your mind about it, but truly underrated, nobody talks about it, so let's start talking about it. At number 3 is Nosferatu, Wrath of Malachi. Malachi? Malachi? Whatever. Another weird pronunciation, but still. This first person horror game is outstanding, I love playing it. It's randomly generated, but not in huge ways, just in small little variations. And you go to the castle of Nosferatu or Dracula and you have to find members of your family who have been kidnapped and they're hidden around the castle. And there is a timer in the game. And if you're not fast enough, some of them will start dying. But if you manage to save them and bring them back to the starting area, they will give you some new weapons, some new upgrades. You can use a cross, you can use a pistol. There are a ton of weapons. It's a very intense game to play, especially with headphones on. And the creatures can be pretty darn scary. And it is a very, very great first person horror game that not many people talk about. I remember that it at its peak once PewDiePie played it, but nowadays it's lowered again into nothing guess. No one talks about it. And it's very great! It's truly underrated, kind of old to some people, but there are some mods and fixes that patch the game up, so definitely give it a try. At number two is another cheat, but I really couldn't choose. The games are Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Because in Symphony of the Night you have this Metroidvania 2D side-scrolling 
excellently looking game on the PlayStation 1 where you play as Alucard, the son of Dracula. And your objective is to go through the castle trying to find out where Simon Belmont is, trying to destroy the castle itself. And it is full of secrets, one big one was that there are two endings, one that you can achieve relatively easily, the other one that forces you to replay the entire game just from a different perspective, I won't say more about it, but it's a very big game and a truly outstanding game on the PS1. And also, if you want something a little bit more just about vampires, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 gives you that, because you play as Dracula. And as a sequel to the first one, this one is even better in my opinion. It's more focused on exploration, it's more of a metroidvania, open world type of game. And playing as a vampire, gaining different abilities, sucking the blood of your enemies, and killing them with your weapons, it was great. And it was a ton of fun. Even though it was criticized by a lot of people, I still think it's one of the top vampire games out there. And they're both different, Symphony of the Night and Lords of Shadow too. So, I recommend you play both of them. One is older, one is newer, one is more about an adventure and exploration, one is more about the action. But they're both great games about vampires and love the entire castle of Symphony of the Night. And the story of Lords of Shadow too. Great games. And finally, at number one is probably the obvious choice and if I didn't put this game at the top spot, I would have been killed by all the fans of the game, Everyone would have called me a liar, and it honestly would show that you don't know all that much about vampire games, because this was one of those rare occasions where there is only one right answer when someone asks you what is the best game of X genre. And with video games about vampires, the best one is easily Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This RPG game developed with the Source Engine is old full of bugs, but the community has managed to fix most of them, it looks great with updated graphics, and it's a truly great RPG with a very interesting story, the possibility to create your own character, you can fight in first person and third person, there are revolvers, there are knives, there are a ton of weapons that you can use, and the story has a lot of branching paths, different endings, a ton of quests that you can explore, big cities that you can go around and actually being a vampire I mean to find civilians that are alone and suck their blood but not too much to, so that they don't die and to choose what type of vampire you actually want to be the amounts of choices are almost unlimited that's a lie it's not unlimited but there are a ton of choices and this is truly one of the best RPGs out there and the most underrated games of all time and the best games where you play as a vampire that is about vampires so, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is easily the best video game about vampires. So guys, these are my choices for the best vampire games. So tell me in the comments below, do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? And which one are your personal favorites? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching, to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next horror video.